Welcome back to another edition of My Shorts. We're right here at the uh, Bed of Doom, contemplating some knife reviews. First up, we have a Mora. Very sharp, very comfortable grip, very practical knife. 10 out of 10, would recommend. Up here next, Lightning out the front. It's the uh, Elite model. I believe they're actually made in China, but they are very sharp. They are very reliable. It makes things easy to open with one hand. Up next, we have a gift from my friend, Tommy. It's a Kilimanjaro uh, Stretta, I believe is the name of it. It came off Amazon. It's a very practical neck knife. It's been very good, reliable, sharp for me. It's got a nice sheath. And up next, we have a CRKT Minimalist. Yes, it is a very tiny knife. But uh, for the application of something like this, it is a get the fuck off me, a package opener, or possibly a hostage taker, depending on how advanced your martial arts skills are. Very nice. Up next, we have another gift from a friend of mine, Stuart. This is a carbon fiber knife of his own design. Now, this one has a special story. It came about as a way to get in the hospital through metal detector when my dad was ill. We had to deal with all that vaccine crap. As you can tell, it's got a uh, beveled edge on it and a point. The idea being you get a hold of somebody and you stick this up against their carotid artery and you walk them out of the building. Very situationally useful. It's actually something that rides on me every day with Mr. 9mm. Usually goes in my pocket off to the opposite side in case we need to uh, do some dirt. Up next, we have a Solingen 23X. This is actually it was my father's, his stepdad, or not a stepdad, his uh, father-in-law rehandled this. He actually found this in the back of a 63 Pontiac. This is very sharp. This knife has actually saved my life before. The correct way to hold one of these is thumb and forefinger like this, and you pull the blade towards you, and you run them onto it. Very effective. It's been in the family a long time. Up next, we have a K98K Mauser dress bayonet. Notice the back's been plugged. It doesn't actually fit on a rifle anymore. That was a modification done during Weimar era Germany. And uh, this was actually issued to fire and police for dress purposes and ceremony because... Handguns were in short supply in the Weimar era, and uh, most police didn't need a handgun, but they did need some form of self-defense for ceremony and use. This is the only one I've seen in the United States, actually, with the full quillion on it. But, what's the point of all this? Each one of these knives has a different intended purpose. Your Mora, your OTF, Lightning, your CR CRKT Minimalist, your Kilimanjaro Strata, the patented Stuart design the Solingen 23X, and the dress bayonet. Why would I discuss such things with you? Well, for starters, if you live in a place you cannot legally carry a firearm, own a firearm, whatever, each one of these knives fits a different job to do the same thing. Even that short little bastard over there. Even the carbon fiber one. Those two are a little more um, advanced. But any one of these other knives should serve you a good purpose and intention of use as a supplement to your daily carry firearm or as a supplement to a job you're doing with other tools at hand. And I think that not enough people discuss these ideas, especially having a knife on your non-dominant side that you usually carry your firearm on the other side, your dominant side, right? So I'm right-handed, so one of these would go in my left pocket or around my neck or whatever. And should somebody grapple with you to get your firearm from you or to lock up in real close with you, you have an option to create distance and a leak. Distance them from you after you plug them with a hole that's going to start leaking. Now, generally speaking, your shorter blades, those are going to be for facial injuries or for carotid artery or for your uh, femoral artery, things like that, or to flay meat off the wrist grabbing at your weapon so you can cause enough pain compliance 
and enough trauma and enough blood loss to get the desired effect from this. Now, speaking as a man who wears murder gloves to do a review, I have an interesting take on this because I've been stabbed in my right side of my arm. And, of course, I'm not going to hold it up to the camera. You don't need to see my devil ink. But uh, I've got some pretty gnarly scars from being stabbed with things as small as that carbon fiber knife or that CRKT. Granted, the kid who nailed me was a, uh, a gangbanger with a shiv, but that's high school for you, right? As always, if you don't like what I have to say about knives being stabbed or stabbing somebody else, because I'm in a very stabby mood today, you can eat my shorts, and have a fantastic day.